Hey, want to know the secret to delivering perfect answers to the interview question, tell me about yourself every time? With so many different ways of answering this question, some ways are definitely better than others. But the best way, based on hundreds of interviews I've taken part in, is to give the interviewers exactly what they want. And in the remainder of this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Okay, let's get right into an example. Let's pretend we're interviewing for this digital marketing apprentice role at Amazon. And I promise you this works for any role. But first, we're remembering that we're looking to give the employers what they want. So we're going to focus our answer on those top two things on the job description. So the structure of your ideal answer is going to first start with a simple introduction. So something like, Sure, I'd love to tell you a little bit about myself. There are two main things I'll look to share in my answer. This is a good, short and energized opening and you're also letting the interviewers know in advance that you'll be talking about two separate things so they can appreciate each part fully. The next part of your answer, which will take up about 40% of it, will be you talking about an experience you had that best showcases your ability in relation to their first listed skill, followed by a different experience of yours relating to their second listed skill, closing your answer out with a simple statement. Now let's give this a try to see what this looks and sounds like. Sure, I'd love to tell you a little about myself. There are two main things I'd like to share. The first of those is my experience in fast paced environments. Last summer, I enjoyed working as an attendant in a restaurant, hosting more than 400 customers a day. And during lunch services, I established rapport with queuing customers by asking open questions, providing menus, and giving updates on wait times. This meant I could give the kitchen advance notice on incoming orders and allergies, as well as increasing table turnover rate by upwards of 20%. The second thing I'd like to share is my interest in music. I've edited music reviews for my university paper, attending upwards of 12 performances over the last year, and I've also volunteered as an attendant at two music festivals. The business and marketing side of music interests me too. I'm interested in the role of online concerts contained within gaming environments and ever greater competition in music services, including Spotify, Apple, YouTube Music, and Amazon, paying careful attention to the marketing of those services across both traditional and digital media. Those are just two of the things I'm excited to be sharing with you. By addressing the needs of your interviewers early on, you're picking up crucial marks on those things you're being measured against, but you're also making them feel incredibly catered to. And for those 10 out of 10 wow answers, I'd also recommend throwing in a further three things. First, being fully descriptive in the examples that you choose, which allows the interviewer to imagine ways they can use your skill sets in live projects that they care about right now. Number two, being achievement oriented in what you share. So in the example I used, I mentioned increasing table turnover rates by upwards of 20%. You could potentially use the reduction of wastage or increasing efficiency, profit, sales to communicate that achievement oriented style. And if you can use numbers in the process, even better. And number three, showing you understand the landscape the organization is operating in. It helps show contextual understanding, but maybe it also communicates that I fit in this environment. And I did that through talking about Amazon's music business. Do all of that within the structure I describe and you're well on your way to a 10 out of 10 wow answer, which has your interviewer's full attention. Do you wanna know the best thing? This technique works for all jobs, all sectors, all levels of seniority because you're simply giving the interviewer evidence for what they're measuring you on. I wish you the absolute best of luck for all the interviews you have coming up. Please know you can reach me for one-to-one -one bespoke interview coaching and practice for any interview you have coming up, you can reach me via LinkedIn, the link's in the description box below, and definitely let me know which interview questions you'd like me to cover in future videos. 
by including them in the comment section. And that's it from me for this week. I'll catch you next time.